Hello to everyone. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever you are. Uh, may that be from Accra to Addis Ababa, from Kampala to Kinshasa, from Luanda to London. And I suppose I have to find a B because Udell's in Birmingham. So from Brighton to Birmingham, um, <laughs> Dakar to Dubai, or Botswana, that's good. Uh, Casablanca <laughs> to Cape Town. Thanks for making the time to spend spend time with us and uh, and talk to us about this or let us talk to you about the subject that we're going to talk to you about today. Um, I'm Adrian Bradley from Holborn and I'll be your host and uh, as you can see with the headgear, the, the MC today, uh, along with my colleagues Chris Hassel and Desiree Mastert, um, we're going to be talking to uh, Udell um, Spence from Prosperity um, about uh, regular saver and saving for property in the UK. Um, I really like to just start with, uh, rather than me reading out a CV about them, um, just for them to give a brief 30 second background on themselves and uh, what they do. So Yudel, you're, you're our guest. I'm going to throw you in the deep end. Of course, uh, no problem at all. Thank you very won't much. Won't you give us 30 seconds on you? Yeah, of course. Thank you very much, Adrian. Thanks for having me today. Um, so I'm the Senior Territory Manager for Prosperity Wealth, uh, and I look after the Middle East and Asia and newly growing territory, South Africa. And what we typically do is help people uh, build a healthy uh, retirement portfolio by diversifying and helping them include UK property um, into those portfolios. So I've been working with Prosperity now for just over seven years. Um, I myself, I've been in and around property just over 10 years uh, and, and I enjoy it. It's my passion and, you know, to find a company like Prosperity that's um, forever moving forward uh, with real estate. It's just amazing. And to include the world in it with what we do, it's really exciting. So, yeah, we're going to tell you more about that today. Thanks, Adele. That's great. Um, who wants to go next? Desiree? <laughs> oh, wow. Me? Already? <laughs> Save the best okay. for us. Um, <laughs> I am a born and bred Zimbabwean um, with a huge, huge passion for helping individuals to secure, diversify, create wealth in secure environments. Um, and being based in Mauritius with my colleagues, lovely colleagues, <laughs> we get to do that across the globe, really. Um, over to you. Chris? Well, that wasn't 30 seconds, so uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I think you, you can figure out with my horrible accent, not quite as horrible as you dull, so by the way, <laughs> um, I to him from uh, Northern uh, UK, so from Stoke-on-Trent, UK originally, uh, been in um, Africa now for eight years. Uh, started off in Southern Africa and Zimbabwe, uh, moved into West Africa in Ghana uh, before coming to Mauritius to head up our sort of Africa uh, development team. So cover the whole of the continent. Um, but yeah, with a, a huge client base in sort of West Africa in particular. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, Great knowledge of the UK property market. I've got a property portfolio uh, there and, and uh, worked in mortgages for, for many years in the UK as well. So, yeah, wonderful opportunity for clients that I think, you know, we're going to go through today. Um, but, yeah, over to our MC in the headphones, I think. Oh, yes, that's me. That's me. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Chris. Um, myself, I've, I've also been a planner for about uh, 10 years, just over 10 years, um, helping clients with the diversifying their wealth, um, wealth and tax structuring, originally South African from my accent, and now um, fortunate enough to be in beautiful Mauritius with uh, my colleagues, as Desiree said. Um, helping clients across the continent, expanding the reach and actually um, around the globe, as Desiree talked about earlier. So that's my uh, my 30 seconds. Uh, what I want to do is just quickly do the introduction to Holborn and who we are. I think you can see on the uh, first slide, uh, I do have to, to say the disclaimer, which is please remember that anything you um, hear or see on this webinar must not be construed as advice. 
Um, if you need advice, you must uh, book a meeting with one of us after the after the session. We'll talk about that. I'm sure Dudel will also talk about that, so we can get an idea of your exact situation. Um, from a, from a, an agenda perspective, um, what we're going to do today is hopefully um, my agenda is going to move. Uh, that was Udell and Desiree and myself. Um, essentially, I'm going to just give the 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 background about, about Holborn. Uh, Udell is going to talk to us about prosperity, and then we're going to jump right into how everything works um, as sort of as a team. Uh, we're not going to let uh, Udell shame spend the whole time just talking and we nodding. Um, so we'll do it that way. From Holborn perspective, um, we're the second largest wealth advisory business in the world. Uh, we were established in 1998 by our CEO, and he's still our CEO, Bob Parker. Um, it is a family-owned business with uh, ties to the UK. And as I said, we're the second largest globally. We have what, and we're very proud of it. We have something around circa two and a half billion um, US dollars under advice um, across our managers and 15,000 clients. So we're a large concern. And again, from a global reach perspective, we now operate out of 13 offices and our advisory force is circa 200 advisors like myself, Chris and Desiree. From a services perspective, I'm just going to run through these very quickly, but essentially we assist the client wherever they may need some diversification. Either they're going to be saving for children's education via um, regular savings plans. They're going to be saving for their own retirement with pensions. Um, they're going to be doing things like buying and selling currency. And the main one up there that we're talking about today is investing in property and the more offshore mortgages and lending. So we're essentially, um, we can offer and help clients to do anything in any of those spaces. Um, why do people work with us? Well, I think from a main perspective, we like to say that um, Holborn as a company, there's, there's five main pillars that we, we pride ourselves on. Number one is our size. And I talked about that earlier. Uh, we're a large global concern with a serious amount of assets under advice. And with that, we get to, um, to, to make sure that we work with the best product providers um, and, and the best product providers want to work with us. Um, uh, hopefully, Udell. Um, that's why Prosperity work with us. Um, the next thing is from an independence perspective. We're a totally independent um, advisory force. We do not um, have our own product. Uh, we always seek out and partner with the best providers of the product um, that we can find and prosperity being one of them. Uh, we then also pride ourselves on service and you'll see those awards that we've got up there. There's actually further awards in 2022, um, but we regularly meet with our clients. Uh, we have an outstanding client service team and the individual advisors pride themselves on meeting very regularly with their clients. You can see our Trustpilot score and I welcome you to go and have a look at our Trustpilot uh, uh, website, the Trustpilot website and just check us out there. From a safety and security perspective, um, our clients are also secure in the knowledge that any of the products or the product providers that we use have been vetted by us and we only work in regulated environments. So highly regulated environments to give, um, again, give our clients the sound comfort to sleep at night. And the final one is the education of our advisors. Um, you'll see myself, Chris and Desiree, uh, we're all registered and um, compliance to give advice and talk about products in the different jurisdictions. Um, our, our client, and we're, we're, we have ongoing professional development that's really um, a key and cornerstone, certainly from Bob driving it forward for us as advisors to constantly expand our knowledge and know what we're doing. So that's the five minutes on, uh, on the background. I think we want to jump straight in and, um, and have a chat. I really, I think I'm going to open it up. Uh, Chris, I'm going to ask you Really, what what was the background? You know, you me and Desiree sat around. Why why did you suggest that in one of our one of our sort of uh, team sessions? What was the thinking around putting this webinar together? Yeah, well, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I think listen, you know, we have between the three of us many, 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 many meetings throughout the course of a week. Um, you know, UK property um, in particular, you know, always forms, I think, you know, an integral part of, of discussions, you know, it always forms, you know, part of somebody's, you know, financial plan. You know, UK property is always seen as, 
you know, a very sound investment. Um, but I think, you know, one of the challenges that, you know, individuals face sometimes is, you know, it can be quite difficult to get onto that UK property ladder, you know, as property prices keep going up and up and up, you know, that deposit requirement typically, you know, is, is quite a sizable chunk of money, you know, and um, sometimes out of the reach for, you know, some of our clients. So, you know, the product offering that Udall is going to go through, you know, sort of helps those individuals to, you know, really benefit from what we know to be a great investment case without having the need for, for that for that capital. So, yeah, it's a phenomenal product, um, you know, and I think, yeah, I think there's going to be people on here today that, you know, can really truly, you know, benefit from this. So, yeah, I think, you know, in a bit of a long-winded nutshell, Adrian, it's just a great investment case for, for individuals that perhaps thought that, you know, the UK property market was out of their reach. Excellent, Chris. Thanks. Um, that's a good reminder as well from a client's perspective and uh, from people watching the webinar. Thanks for reminding me. Um, you'll see some poll questions coming up during the course of the webinar, if you wouldn't mind just uh, taking the time to to um, fill those in. Uh, they'll probably come up in the next 15, 15 minutes or so. And, uh, and then we can go through the questions at the end if we have some time. Great. Well, thanks. Thanks for that, Chris. I think you, you've, you've uh, talked about the man of the moment. So I'm going to hand over to Udell. Udell, um, why don't you just tell us exactly, or just give us a little bit of a background about prosperity and what you do, um, and, uh, and, and, and for your sins, why you're an Aston Villa supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Adrian. <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> so um, prosperity group of companies. So this is us as a snapshot as our business. So prosperity, we've been going since 2007. Um, we're a UK based uh, residential property developer. We're based in Birmingham. So if you know Birmingham city center, we're like the um, second city of the UK. We're actually based in the jewelry quarter, B3 postcode, uh, just down from the city center. So it's a fantastic location because we get to see all the cranes and activity happening right from our doorstep. Um, the beauty of the structure of prosperity of how we work, what we do, um, you can see on the right hand side of this slide here, um, we have four different companies based in-house. So the four different companies you can see on the right-hand side there um, are our group of companies. And this is to kind of support the client's journey, the client's purchasing journey throughout getting involved with property investment. So uh, never at any stage do we want a client to get involved. And, you know, no matter if you've got lots of experience or little experience of the UK property market, et cetera, we want to make sure that we hold your hand uh, and take you through the process as smooth as possible. So then you go off and refer us to more people and talk to Prosperity about, you know, um, how you can get more people involved with such a fantastic opportunity. So Prosperity Wealth, just to kind of give you in a quick nutshell, um, is the kind of marketing desk where the, the client facing business. That's who I work for. These are all in their own legal entities as well. So they all act as separate businesses under the Prosperity Group uh, umbrella. Um, this is where the client will be interacting with at first point of call when it comes to reservations, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we're the company that also do all the training and the partnering with all the advisors and the advisor groups around the world. We then have Prosperity Developments. So Prosperity Developments is not really a, a client facing business, but it's the guys who manage all the architects, the planning permissions, the legal contracts, the sign off, all the bits behind the scenes. Uh, and when you do do a legal exchange with a conveyancer, it will have Prosperity Developments on it because we are the person on the ground that's actually building the sites. And I do find that's a, a very important point because you will find out there today, there is many people that say they're developers, but they're probably two or three people down from the actual developer. <laughs> so working with Prosperity, it's always good because you are getting the updates uh, uh, and all the different things throughout the milestones directly from the horse's mouth, which is amazing, of course. Um, 
prosperity homes and again looking after expatriates uh, and, and foreign nationals buying into the UK property market we need to make sure that we have a sound uh, advisory desk for mortgages and financing packages to help clients finalize and complete at the end so we've actually got our own in-house uh, mortgage department uh, that looks after owner occupier sales uh, expatriates and foreign nationals that want to buy into uk properties and we can also do fat fines and all the different things to make sure that clients are very comfortable of what we're looking at for lending when we come to that stage at completion so another important part of the process, guys. Last but least, when we've gone through that journey, um, we've now developed and delivered this nice shiny product that's in the middle of the city centre. It's going to need an element of rental management. So we have our own Lamont & Co rental management company, and this is the tenant facing business. So we want to make sure if we're set up in city centres, we want to make sure that we're attracting the right profile of tenants that are going to pay a deposit, sign up to a 12-month contract, and then make sure that we get that monthly income every month on time uh, to kind of remunerate uh, and provide a yield for the investors. That's the structure of Prosperity. You get involved with Prosperity, you're dealing with a one-stop shop for property investments. We don't put you into a product and then disappear you know, we walk you through the process, make sure that it's very simple, straightforward, and we want you to come back again. And that's why we look after you, of course. So since we've been going, Adrian, since 2007, we put some remarkable figures on the board, as you can see. <laughs> so, scores on the doors, as yeah, they say. Scores hey? on the doors. <laughs> so um, from the left hand side, so we, we're, we're now up to over two, um, sorry, over 4,300 total units as a company since we've been going. So um, this is major. Um, just to kind of give you a breakdown, two and a half thousand of those units um, are Birmingham city centre based. So Birmingham's like a three mile radius of its city centre. Two and a half thousand of those units um, are, are Birmingham. So this makes prosperity, and I like to say this all the time with an with a underline, the biggest residential homegrown developer in the second city of the UK. So we know what we're doing when it comes to regeneration stories, finding land, getting planning, developing out and handing over. We've got that experience. And when you're doing it in big cities like Birmingham that are going through X amount of regeneration like it is right now, um, it's fantastic. And just the Midlands in general. Um, 43 developments since we've been going. So yeah. Again, great track record. 85% of our products are pre-sold before we've even put a spade in the ground, uh, which is amazing as well. So we, we never get to kind of show people a product when it's delivered because it's already sold out by the time we get to that stage. And then this is showing you a national approach of how we set up in regards to pegs. Uh, we only develop in, in England. So we're up and down the UK, always looking for that next regeneration story. So if it's the next market town, of Derby, Nottingham, if it's the next uh, zone one area from Liverpool, we make sure that we do all the relevant research of why we as a developer would take our millions of pounds uh, of funds to go and develop in that specific location. So all the research is done behind the scenes for the clients before we've even started. We don't just pick a feather out the air and decide to develop somewhere for no reason. There's got to be key drivers behind it, but you're more than welcome to uh, connecting with your advisor and they'll put you in the in the right place uh, when it comes to those different developments that we've done up and down the country to make sure you I think we're going to talk about one in particular right yes. towards the end of this hour. I won't are. I won't steal I won't steal <laughs> your thunder so you can see our clusters are very much around the Midlands uh, and the East Midlands because that's where it's all happening that corridor down to Cambridge and London uh, it's a very kind of uh, popular location. And we're going to get to that in a short while and show you some key drivers and why we believe that is a, a, a great um, area. So moving on, we facilitate, we enable, we add value. Um, again, um, as Chris mentioned earlier, um, I think the thinking out there today is um, if you ever wanted to get involved with property investments and you've always 
wanted to kind of make a move but don't know how to always thought you needed to have your whole of your life savings saved before you can actually get onto the market i would say the longer you leave it the more expensive it's going to get uh, and with prosperity's products we make it very accessible um, with the usps that we have in place to make sure that we can give people the opportunity uh, to access such investments uh, uh, and you know have a snowball effect for, for later one of course we have something called the no lump sum um, and i'm going to show you a, a table in a short while to show you how the, the deposit structure actually stacks up but the no lump sum is again helping clients invest in property without the huge uh, deposit and capital right at this stage today um, the beauty of that no lump sum we marry that up with something called a, a monthly payment plan and I know that the Holborn advisors and the advisory networks that we work with um, kind of refer it to a bit like a regular savings plan. And if we treat it like a regular savings plan, it works really well because um, two years of developing, um, if you're doing a regular savings plan for two years and then you're delivered a property at the end of two years, it's amazing. It works really well. You can go every two years instead of saving for the next five years and seeing very little return on what you need to do while you'll be getting an asset delivered at every two years at the end so mm. the next slide adrian this is, is an example we, yeah this yes. is an example of how we stack up and, and again the the numbers and the figures at the top are just typical so just to kind of show you the breakdown of what we do how it works yeah so as a as an example here two hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred five. if adrian was an investor uh we'd be looking at this price as a as a headline um we would ask adrian to smallly commit with only a five percent reservation deposit uh, so no lump sum at any stage we we require from adrian not his life savings uh, you know we want to show him that we can deliver a product and show him the updates throughout the build construction updates etc so we come in with a five percent reservation deposit which is this gray area here at the initial start to start the investments you have a 995 legal fees so the legal conveyancing work um, is done by a solicitor, which is only acts independently for the clients. Um, legal conveyancing is very black and white in the UK. Um, you know, they're very strict for their work and what they do. So we, we, we pay them that amount to, to kind of start the file uh, and get things underway. Then the regular savings plan that we referred to earlier on. So if you can imagine in the UK uh, for, for buy to let mortgages, you need a, a 25 to 30 percent deposit to access that lending market. So instead of prosperity going, Adrian, we need you to pay us that 30 percent so we can then build your apartment. We help Adrian actually save that 30 percent. So the remaining 25 percent, which is this yellow area here after the reservation deposit has been paid, we help him save it, which mirrors the build schedule of the project. So typically at the moment, we have uh, projects in uh, 18 months, 24 months, 30 months. So depending on where the completion date is for that project, we will split the remaining 25% that, that Adrian needs to save to, as a regular savings plan to arrive at his full 30% deposit ready for his lending facility at the end and guess what? Adrian doesn't pay any interest, no fees, or there's no charges saving that deposit, guys. So that's the beauty of it. So all it is, you're utilizing the time to save your deposit. So Adrian may have never had 30% of 219995 just lying in his bank account ready to do an investment. But Adrian can afford to save, as a regular savings plan, £1,800 a month. For the next 24 months so this is why now all of a sudden prosperity's audience for investors has gone from a very tunnel vision to now everybody's the investor <laughs> everybody that knows about this product can invest because it's easy it's accessible uh it's low commitments and it leaves the clients very low exposed as well one more um advantage of why we can do that regular savings plan is because prosperity as a developer we fund all of the builds ourselves as a developer so we don't rely on clients funds to fund any of the projects so it takes away that pressure from all of our clients having to fund big lump sums throughout the stages to get to where they need to be we arrive at completion 
So all of a sudden now project has been built. You would have received the quarterly milestones and updates throughout the purchasing plan and the timelines. We arrive at uh, the, the full seven, uh, we arrive at 30% uh, deposit level completion stage. And then that's when we start organizing uh, a mortgage facility to hand over ready for the completion date. One of the beauty thing, beautiful things that I haven't mentioned, one of the most biggest things that we do is we only go to locations that we know that the pounds per square foot and the regeneration prices are going up. So if you can imagine, Adrian locks in this purchase price of £219,000 with a 5% reservation deposit. He's frozen this £219,000 at today's date. In two years' time, if we're investing into, if Adrian's investing into a city that's growing at a 5% rate per annum, Adrian's not done anything. All he's doing is saving his buy to let mortgage deposit, but all of a sudden, this headline value of this property is growing by 5% per annum. So the return on your capital employed, all of a sudden, you're getting returns in value 5% per annum of 219,000. And all you've done is drip feed 1% per month to arrive at your buy to let mortgage deposit. <laughs> so we couldn't write it any easier. We might as well give it you, <laughs> if that yeah. makes sense. So it's an amazing, if you can marry up a regeneration story with a USP like this, that's where the magic happens. Yeah. Um, next slide. Excellent. Well, let's see. I might, I might stop you there. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, I will, because that, that one's quite busy and it's going to take a lot of explaining. I'm going to just ask Des, um, Des, what do you think about, about this? I mean, it's, it's obviously very, very unique in, in, in your interactions with clients and the fact finds that you do and stuff like that. Um, do, do you think this is the kind of thing that's achievable for the average client? Absolutely. Um, I think you touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, a lot of what we do is helping our clients to save for a specific purpose. So whether that is for their children's education, retirement, et cetera. And property still does form a really big part of each of those portfolios because it does give that tangible, slow and steady asset. And if someone's got a regular income, you know, they have that 5% in the bank, that it's, it's almost like, you know, why not? Um, yeah. The capital appreciation, the rental yield, and it just, it makes so much sense. Mm. With I can see Chris products. wants to jump in as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No, I think the word she was after was a no-brainer. Is is what? Yeah, I, thank I, you. <laughs> uh, clearly, no, I have no brain right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Nidal touched on it before. You know, it's the problem is with the UK property market. It's a relentless machine. You know, and and you know values go up and up and up and up and up. And the problem is, if you're trying to save for that deposit. You're chasing all of the time because yeah. you know you can set yourself a goal right now of you know what you need as a, dep a deposit to buy a property in two years. But by the time you've got there, you know the property prices have increased, so you you're constantly chasing yeah. um, to get on that ladder, you know, yeah. and you know being being able to secure a purchase today at today's price. But also benefit from that capital appreciation. You're not chasing; you're, you're actually benefit benefiting from it. And you know, you do You know, will tell you. You know that the hardest part of the UK property market, and I said it before, is getting on that ladder. But once yeah. you're on that ladder, you know the the things that you can do from there. You know, to take advantage of that capital appreciation and you know, refinance and be able to get more properties, you know, it becomes so much easier to create, you know, a UK property portfolio once you've got that one. Yep. Um, this is a great stepping stone to, you know, really get people on that ladder and, and really take advantage of, you know, the UK property market. But, Absolutely. Sorry, 
Sorry to interject. I know you didn't ask me anything, but yeah. No, no, that's it, what it's about, eh? We're just having a chat. It, it, People it, it, are listening. It, it, it is no brain of this one, to be honest. Yeah. 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 That's great. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I think um, then it leads well into the next slide. I mean, it's a, it's quite a busy slide you delve. So we, we yeah, I'll, I'll skip um, I'm going to watch it and skip through it. But yeah, I, I think there's some pertinent stuff we might throw the questions that we would we would typically come across. Yeah. But uh, but let me get to it. It's actually a, a an explanation exactly of of how things um, how things work from a from yeah, a purchase and the monthly mortgage plan. So so this is. Um... This is the uh, example financial uh, that we put together for each and every individual unit that we have. And this is just an example to show you. Um, That's a do... horrible slide, by the way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just copied and pasted it, yeah. Yeah. So um, It's very busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very busy. But this is just to kind of give the clients an example of, of, of how things are broken down as and when we sit down to obviously evaluate the individual unit that we'll talk about. So you have your reservation stage, your monthly payments, your completion stage, and what's required from you upon completion at the end. So you have like things like mortgage fees, stamp duties, little bits and pieces that will come up. We like to make sure that you're well aware of this at the start, uh, then having surprises later on, of course. Then we talk yeah. about the, the income uh, projection and we always go off today's um, income rates what it is today we never forecast and go oh no it's going to be x amount because that's yeah. when you start walking in a, a you know in a, in a dangerous situation yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course markets will always go up with rentals so by the mm. time we get there it would have improved of course and then you've got yep. the expenses uh, and the net expenses at the end. So, And I see this as an example from what one that we, uh, now we, you've given the game away. Yeah, um, One of, of the developments <laughs> is, so that you're going to talk yeah. about a little bit more details from the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the entry level products on the neighborhood. So you're uh, just going to run through it quickly for us. Yes, So of essentially course. starting at purchase price, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Purchase price is starting at 169,995. You've got your Perfect. Five 5% reservation deposit plus your nine, no, 995 legals for reservation stage. So to lock in, no lump sum, that's all we require for you to reserve uh, Great. if you're planning to, to proceed. Okay, let me, so let me just clarify. So that means yeah. someone who's got some money and a regular saving, uh, sorry, a regular income yeah. to take um, a one-bed apartment at the neighborhood right now yep. only needs 9,000, let me just round that up, 9,500 pounds. Correct. And, and they're in. They yeah. own a property. They're going to be owning a property in the UK. They can tell all their mates, yep. I'm a property owner. And guess <laughs> what? It's in the UK. And uh, and it's uh, it's just, in, it's in the neighborhood, you know, exactly, down the road. Exactly that, of course. <laughs> okay, then, great. To help them achieve their uh, remaining deposit that's going to be required by the mortgage, we help them with the regular savings plan period, which is 18 months. This is an 18-month schedule, uh, £2,300 per month for the next 18 months. Okay. We, follow, we follow that to the end, and when we come to the end of that plan, that's when we'll have full delivery of uh, the, the development, of course. Yep. Completion stages will be what's required and what balances are left uh, that we would obviously apply finance for. So obviously you've got 118,996 left as a balance. That will be the amounts that we uh, apply for a mortgage for. And then you have little things that will pop up like your mortgage arrangement fee. So I believe that they'll take like 250 upon application and the balance when it's completed. Um, yep. stamp, stamp duty. So you, I'll typically advise you to speak to your advisor about your um, stamp duty and your tax um, situation. But everyone that's buying a buy to let mortgage in the UK has an element of stamp duty to pay. So the, the rates do change and defer. We do have a, a night frank calculator that we can work on to work out the rate if you're buying as a couple, single person, yeah. own property already, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. And the foreign one, the foreign one's also big. So I think, as yeah. you say, you need to, you know, need to sit down with one of us and, of and just get the exact exact layouts for you. Yeah, yeah definitely. Or as a company, yeah. Or as a company. Yeah, or com course, yeah. company, et cetera, yeah. yeah. Um, income, so we, we talk about the, the rental income, like Chris touched on earlier. It is becoming more and more and more challenging for UK buyers nowadays to get onto the buy to let market, mortgage market, and even the property market in general. So guys, guess what? If you're not a buyer, 
you're renting. <laughs> so renting yeah. market is always going up. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, and this is what we found in place at Nottingham because it's a community belt city. It's fantastic. So we're going to get into that shortly. And then your yeah. expenses uh, will be things like your service charges. So your service charges will cover a whole heap of uh, different services within the building. So because you're different landlords um, within the same plot of land, this will cover things like your building insurance, your sinking fund, window maintenance, clearing, communal clearing, all the different things, lift maintenance to make sure that the property is kept up to a great standard. Um, so that's everything's included in your service charges. And then you have your management fees. So your management fees are just your rental cost per month of your monthly income uh, of what you want service to take out to manage that property for you. Um, and that's it. But we'll talk to you more individually about this stage when we get yep. to it uh, on the specific units on your circumstances. Yep. Um, the guys, so uh, guys, uh, question. Sorry to jump in there, Udo. That's okay. What are the typical? What are the typical things um, our clients client kind of wants clarity on here that you think it's worth sort of stopping now and talking about? Um, Chris, Chris, Desire, anyone? Yes, no. I would say. I would say Sorry, I think the obvious one is, you know, um, is that surplus net um, income going to be sufficient to cover a mortgage payment? Yeah. So what will happen is your mortgage companies, and we vet these sites through all different lenders, uh, through different um, um, criteria of clients with different interest rates to make sure that the buy-to-let investment vehicle fits. Because if it doesn't fit, it wouldn't be worth us building it. <laughs> and this yeah. is why we only go to the locations that we do. If we was five miles out from a city centre, we know that the rentals for a property five miles out from a city centre to somewhere that's in a city centre, the rentals are going to be completely different. The yeah. city centre development is going to fetch more rent and is going to be more demanding and growing over time. So when the mortgage market do look at the products, They'll look at Adrian as the buyer and go, yeah, so well, he stacks up on paper, okay, his income's all good, but does the property, and if the property doesn't look promising where we know that the income's going to go up and it's performing uh, where the, it's location, they won't lend on it, but yeah. they do. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see what we've got next. Yeah. Ah, then it's into yeah, the main... Yeah. This is what I mean. I'm one of them people that if you show me a brochure, I just look at pictures, eh? Of course. Yes. Oh, <laughs> That's why we put them in there. <laughs> Especially for you, Chris. Hey. Um, okay. Right, you go. So you, you tease them with the name. Here we go with pictures now. Yeah, of course. And, and it's a shame because we haven't got that many pictures to show you, but these are just the teasers, I think, for the for the guys to see. Obviously, when we sit down with you individually, we'll make sure that we get you a, a, a yeah. good. CGI pack and a few things to look at the interiors and all the different things that we're doing on the grounds, etc., which is amazing. So, so this is the neighbourhood. Um, the, the, the neighbourhood um, is based in Nottingham in an area called Beeston. And we as a developer, we've done quite a few developments now in and around the East Midlands. So you've got the West Midlands, the East Midlands, and the East Midlands kind of captures all Nottingham, Derby, and it's all that corridor on the east uh, in the middle of the UK, which is amazing. Um, what we found, and typically what we found is, we've done now, I'll probably say, uh, if I can remember, 14 developments in and around the East Midlands. So market towns, Derby, in Nottingham, in and around this area, we found that it's very popular because the East Midlands has been always one of the biggest performing regions for capital appreciation and house price growth. And the reason why that is, is because the ticket price is still very small, but all of the potential that it's got and all of the population growth that it has and all the education that it has and the big employers that it has and the infrastructure that's coming, these are the things that drives property prices. So we've decided again to go to, to Nottingham because we know it's a fantastic location of the UK and it's commute about down to Cambridge and down to the capital as well. So it works out really well. Um, this development specifically is a, um, a private gated community um, and we're doing apartments and houses on this site. Um, 
the apartments and houses, we have a mixture of them both. So as you can see, 80, 87 apartments and houses uh, that we're carrying out. Um, and yeah, we, we launched it um, about a month uh, ago with an exclusive uh, to Holborn and Holborn have done exceptionally well uh, with the products introduced to their clients. And we've had a lot of buyers that have came in and, and obviously taken advantage of the growing area and everything that Nottingham has to offer. Um, like I said, when we sit down with you individually, we have some independent reports. So it's all good and well me sitting here and saying, oh, well, yeah, Nottingham this, Nottingham that. We always go by the Knight Frank and the JLL reports, uh, which are Googleable. Uh, you go onto Google, you put in Knight Frank, uh, Nottingham prices for the last five years, it will come up with the exact same thing. So these are five points that I believe that I thought would be very important to talk to you about today. Um, I'll only cover a few, but this is to kind of give you a really good understanding of what Nottingham has got to offer uh, as a city that's growing. So. Um, number one, it's five year growth. So as it stands right now, um, I think I recently downloaded the, uh, the Zoopla, uh, Zoopla pricing index and Zoopla is one of these um, uh, big estate agency portals in the UK and it's actually anyone can access that they can go on the Google and, and have a bit of a Google around. But we found that Nottingham as a city is a place that's leading for capital appreciation out of all the other major cities in the UK. <laughs> and the, I, I just found it so surprising and so bad because we, we know that Birmingham is going for a huge, huge regeneration. We always thought that Birmingham would be the first, Manchester, et cetera. It's actually Nottingham. It sits on top of all of the, uh, you know, the price indexes in the UK, which is phenomenal. So um, as, as we were saying, uh, moving on to the next point, point two, since 2016, guys, when we had the Brexit referendum vote and everyone was um, up in hysterics and we didn't know what was going to happen, it was all question marks and all the rest of it, Nottingham has seen a 41.7% property increase growth since then. And that's what, that, how many years is that, guys? Work me out, figures. Um, that's five, six years and four, five months, is it? Yes. Yes. Six years and five months. Six years and five months, a property has increased 41% in value. <laughs> That's right. mental. So Nottingham prices have increased by, from 122 grand. So you can see the prices are, are very small to 172,000, which is a 41% increase in price. So since 2020, a couple of years back, we've already seen a 16% growth. So prices are 16% higher than they were in 2020. That's phenomenal. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so if, we, if, if, cool. if Adrian's investing off plan with us and locks in with his 5% reservation deposit and we're still yeah. seeing a 5% growth per annum, wow. Adrian's just saving his buy to let mortgage deposit. The value of the property is still increasing because the pounds per square foot is yeah. growing. The demand is growing. Yeah. All, everything is growing for the property in the area. We're yeah. seeing organic values here. And that's yeah. how we help clients build wealth through organically selecting developments in cities that are going through this um, strength of regeneration and growth um, to help them refinance in a couple of years' time to take that 20 grand or 30 grand or whatever equity they've had in that deal. Yep. So then guess what? Invest into another prosperity product where you only need 5% and you just drip feed the same thing. So if you're thinking about retiring, retiring is not an age, it's a number. Let's talk about a plan. Yep. If it's a 10 year plan, how we can incorporate property into your investment mm -hmm. portfolio. Um, one other one that I'm going to cover on here quickly is oh. um, so so it just point four. So a lot of people will ask about the the strength of the market. So as yes. I touched up as I touched on before, you know if you're not a buyer, you're a renter uh, in the yes. UK. The the demand for property already at the moment because of lockdown and we we've kind of slowed down the producer of delivering products to the market. So we're already trying to play catch up. But as you know, Nottingham is a student city. So we have two universities in Nottingham. They look after something like 60 to 70,000 70, UK and overseas students. They come to Nottingham, they study, 
four, five, six years. Okay, go back to mummy and daddy when they've graduated for two months for a holiday, Singapore, Dubai, South Africa. They end up coming back to Nottingham, Birmingham, Manchester, London, all the university cities as, as, as retained graduates wanting to then start yeah. their careers because they've lived there for the last five years. So Nottingham is putting up with an influx, as it says here, 25% of its population in Nottingham is aged between 16 and 24 with an average age of 31, meaning a very strong rental market for young professionals starting their careers. Right. Hello, bit of a clue. Yep. <laughs> Big clanger. These are the places that you want to go. If you're looking for good property investment, it's the university cities that are churning out the graduates. We know that big employers are moving to those locations. We know that in infrastructure's been improved. We know that all these things are key drivers for property price and letting prices. Mm. Um, next slide, sorry, Adrian. So that's the points on Nottingham. And I'm just going to touch on a few points here on Beeston. So this is just to kind of give you just- Wait, before there. you do that Beeston yep. thing. Yep. <laughs> what I yep. say to the slide, yeah, but I'm going to give my age away here. What I say to the slide is go and watch a movie from 1991 called Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, yeah. That's all me. With movies. Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah. That's all. It's all from right. Nottingham Forest. <laughs> yeah. So if you go and watch that movie, you'll buy at yeah. the neighborhood. <laughs> Because then you can go on a daily basis to the forest and yeah. enact. <laughs> right, Eastern. Robin Hood is massive in the East Midlands. It's uh, it's crazy. Um, yeah. So infrastructure, guys. We know that infrastructure, any city that has major infrastructure, we look at the big capitals, Hong Kong, London, all these big cities have major infrastructure, underground trams and systems. Property prices go up because of the infrastructure. Yeah. We only go to places that has brilliant infrastructure and the neighborhood. You come out of the gates of the neighborhood and the main road called the high, the high road is the tram stop. <laughs> so you're sitting right. on a, you're sitting in zone one. This is Nottingham as a city center. Beeston hugs onto Nottingham as a city center. People migrate organically to Beeston because it's the first area where you get all the nightlife, your bars, your restaurants, your tram infrastructure, your train station, all your amenities are in Beeston. You find that your Perfect. companies and a few bits and pieces are in Nottingham, but Nottingham's still going through regeneration. But Beeston is like the area where everybody migrates to because it's the zone one of the city. Um, beautiful thing is, you know, the development sits right upon a tram stop. So you come out the developments, you're 11 minutes into Nottingham city centre via the tram. So this is the Brilliant. tram expansion tram network. It's award-winning network. It connects Beeston and surrounding areas, the university campus, the Queen Medical Centre, the city centre and the park and ride near the Junction 25 for the M1 motorway. Smothered Brilliant. by infrastructure, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're not 10 miles out, and this is where you need to be. If me and Adrian are going to open a Pret and Manga coffee shop, we know that the audience that we connect are going to be people on the high street. Right there. We wouldn't be on five miles out from the high street because it just wouldn't make sense. But the Brilliant. landlords of the Pret and Manga in the city center know that the rents, he can put the rents up every year because we need to be there. This is the same. Yes. It's all about location. And it's the same principle. Um, yeah, I think I've already touched uh, touched on the yeah, yeah. education. Um, but again, yeah, all the all the kind of uh, the key drivers for Nottingham and the East Midlands in general, guys. We, we've got a really ticks all the boxes. Yeah, ticks yeah. all the boxes. And, and uh, as I was saying to Adrian, we have got the uh, the, um, the 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 Zoopla price index that we can share with you after if we have individual yeah. calls. Uh, and we we'll sit down with you to introduce the products. And I think that's Great. pretty much um, it for me as a taster. Yeah. So that's just to give you just a basic overview today of what we've Great. got to offer with a payment plan in a city that's growing. The rental demand is high. The capital depreciation is happening. You can get in at a very, very good price. It will help you save your payment plan. It doesn't cost you any money. We don't cost you any interest rates or charges. You're strictly saving a, a you know, a, a buy till at mortgage yep. deposit. So you can access the lender panel. That's it. Great. <laughs>
Thank you, Judah. I mean, it's, no it's been it's all. been crazy. I mean, and I'm watching the time here. We've we've probably got about four minutes to wrap it up with a Q and A. Yeah. Um, and and obviously well, just say to clients, hello. yeah, you did. I know. I, mean, so, I, really, I really to, in. I was trying You're to. So, I know. I know. I started talking. I was trying to cram it all yeah. in. So my apologies. <laughs> no worries. And, and one thing that, I, that that I'm just checking through in the questions and answers. There's so many. We're actually not going to be able to. But if uh, if the clients that have put the questions through, please just get hold of your your uh, panelist or whoever you invited you, and they'll they'll answer them for. But what I will do is I'll just quickly do one. We've had a question about. Uh, the clarity on what the monthly mortgage repayment is and how long it is. I'm going to go to that slide and talk to it because we, it was a busy slide. It was a very busy yeah. slide, yeah. Um, just so that people can understand what we were talking about. Yeah. So, in, so exa in the example that you gave, yeah, um, so in Beeston, yeah, with the one bed at 169. So yeah. the question is: is what is the monthly repayment? How long is it? Yeah. Um, so and what was so yep. typically at this stage of the investment, we as a developer, we don't really discuss much about the mortgage lending costs of what it is right now because we are two yep. years away. We're two years away from delivering the products. So mortgage market is moving every couple of bumps. We've got new products here, new rates here, things going up, down, all the rest of it. We know that the mortgage market what's happening right now is going to be in a different place where we are in two years time. Yep. However, if people wanted to get that comfort and speak to a mortgage advisor, we can arrange that. And what they'll yes. do, they'll look at the price. They'll look at the income. They'll talk to the clients about their background, what passport they hold, what they do as an occupation, uh, et cetera, et cetera, because yep. lending isn't just one fits all. It's very individualized to kind of Correct. give you access to different lenders. So, we can do yep. that to help you get more of an idea of what it, the costings would be. But remember, when we come to locations like this, we're not going to be millionaires overnight, guys. So that's what I don't want you to think that, oh, the mortgage is going to be £100 a month and I'm going to get six. I'm going to get a massive. It doesn't work like that. I was always say for places like Nottingham and Birmingham that are grown at such a high rate, it's something that you invest in to get the assets and then you leave it till later because it's all about thinking about later, be in it for four to five years. Because, you know, if you've got the time, that time will reap you benefits in property yeah. value growth. Don't worry Correct. about, oh, am I going to get an extra 200 pounds? Yeah, you know, from a, you know, a UK property market, sorry to interject that. That's okay. Way. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you know, I even say a 10 year hold. You know, you've got to be Correct. prepared. Exactly. Hold on to it. UK property for, for 10 years and you know you can take a snapshot of, of any 10 year window you know since records began with UK property pick oh, a day <laughs> any 10 year period it, it, properties double you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going back to mortgages I mean you know even if we even if we're looking at 6% for a mortgage rate right now on an interest only mortgage you know, for that what one hundred and twenty thousand that you would have as a mortgage, yeah. You know, you get you know, a six hundred pound a month payment. You know, yeah. so you know you're not you're always going to be in a well, a certainly a cash neutral position, but yeah. Yeah. maybe slightly in a cash positive position. And I think that probably is going to answer the question better. I think yes. You know what you want to be time. able to do is is own this property. And the rent covers it. You know, yeah, you don't want to have to be, you know, paying, you know, money out on a monthly basis. But that's right. it, six cents, you know. And, you know, I know, you know, even as a, you know, as a non, non-resident right now, you know, you can get mortgages for less than, less than 6%. So yeah. hopefully that'll answer your question. Yeah. I think it's great to answer to the question. And we're running out of time. Um Des, maybe just a quick whip round. Des, any any other questions? Any other insights you want to give 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 the people? Um, no, I think I think both Chris and you, Dale, touched on the fact that you know mortgages are as personal as every aspect of your financial planning. You know, okay. so there isn't that one size fits all. It's not going to be you know five years for everybody, for example. Um, so I think definitely get in touch with us if you are concerned. Um, 
about the mortgage process, then yeah, we can look at it even now. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Good. Spot on. Chris? Anything? Yeah, I think all I, all I will do is reconfirm that this is a wonderful opportunity um, yep. to be able to access what we already know to be you know, a very, very sound um, investment. Yes, you know, the UK property market is probably about one of the most sound investments that there is. So, yep. yeah, you know, your advisors are for, for everyone that's, you know, on the call today. You know, if, you, if there is a, a, you know, a serious level of interest in discussing this further, then... You know, reach out, you know, we'll schedule some one on one time. We can bring you Dal into that, you know, meeting. You know, we can look at, you know, not only Nottingham, there are other developments yeah. that, you know, Dal does. Yeah. Um, we can look at specific units and, you know, give you a real tailor made, you know, breakdown of, of your, you know, your package, mm -hmm. you know, how much it's going to cost mm -hmm. you as an individual. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think we need to wrap up uh, from a, yep. from a, the point of view for everyone that's you know stuck around and you know listened to to us all boring individuals thank you um you can yep. go now and have a drink or whatever it is to 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 wash away the the drones but um mm. <laughs> that's it no thank yes, you I everyone think... for, thank for... you you do yeah thanks for having me guys much appreciated Yep. And I'll finish off as well by just saying, please reach out. Um, we'll most likely reach out to you anyway. Anyone who's registered, uh, we'll send you a mail or, or get, get a hold of you and just have a chat. It really is unique. You must sit with us one by, one on one, but we can make a plan. It really is the, the summary. And this is something you don't want to miss out on. Hope you all have a very, very wonderful day. Thanks to the panelists, Chris, Desiree, Udell. Thanks for giving us your time. Thank you. And no uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Adios. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.